Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Turn to the Lord in his strength. Constantly seek his face. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. This Mass is being offered for your intentions. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> a reading from the book of Sirach. The Lord is a God of justice who knows no favorites. Though you unduly partial toward the weak, yet he hears the cry of the oppressed. The Lord is not deaf to the wail of the orphan, nor to the widow when she pours out her complaint. The one who serves God willingly is heard. His petitions reach the heavens. The prayer of the lowly pierces the clouds. It does not rest till it reaches its goal, nor will it withdraw till the Most High responds, judges justly and affirms the right. The Lord will not delay. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress he rescues them. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit he saves. The Lord redeems the lives of his servants. No one incurs guilt who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, I am already being poured out like a libation, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have competed well. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. From now on, the crown of justice awaits me from which the Lord, the just judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but to all who have longed for his appearance. At my first defense, no one appeared on my behalf, but everyone deserted me. May it not be held against them. But the Lord stood by me and gave me strength, so that through me the proclamation might be completed, and all the Gentiles might hear it. And I was rescued from the lion's mouth, the Lord will rescue me from every evil threat and will bring me safe to his heavenly kingdom. To him be glory forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ and entrusting to us the message of salvation. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. 
Jesus addressed this parable to those who were convinced of their own righteousness and despised everyone else. Two people went up to the temple area to pray. One was a Pharisee, the other was a tax collector. The Pharisee took up his position and spoke this prayer to himself. O oh God, I thank you that I am not like the rest of humanity, greedy, dishonest, adulterous, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week and I pay tithes on my whole income. But the tax collector stood off at a distance and would not even raise his eyes to heaven but beat his breast and prayed, O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, the latter went home justified, not the former. For whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and the one who humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good day to you, and I apologize for all the coughing and everything. I'm I'm in the midst of uh, the allergies, and they're taking their toll. They started last week. <laughs> the Lord likes to teach humility. And also, unfortunately, sister couldn't join us this week, but she will be with us next week. Uh, my friends, I'm not going to labor this. This is a simple, beautiful lesson. You know, it's a lesson of humility, the charioteer of the virtues, the virtue that we need to perfect. Uh, I always love the story of St. Bernard or Clairvaux, who uh, was the novice master for his order. <coughs> Excuse me. And at some point, a young novice came up to him and said, you know, Father Bernard, what are, how, what are the virtues I need to perfect to be, you know, a, a proper religious, but also, you know, somebody who is a true follower of Christ? And Bernard looked at, the, looked at him lovingly and he said, you need to perfect three virtues. First of all, you need to perfect humility. Second of all, you need to perfect humility. And third of all, you need to perfect humility. I know I've used that time and again, but it's so valuable. And again, this is the lesson that we see in our whole of the readings this day. And Jesus giving us that beautiful parable where the tax collector would not raise his eyes up to heaven. And he just beat his breast and said, you know, be merciful to me, a sinner. You know, so many times uh, when you hear people, I shouldn't say hear people, but sometimes uh, people pray, they're really praying to themselves. And the God that they're talking to is the God who looks out from, at them from the mirror in the morning. And we have to avoid that, you know, we have to be truly humble. Like St. Paul said, he gives that beautiful beginning where he said, I am being poured out like a libation. And a libation was the drink at the end of the meal that was given to in the Roman times. And the Jews also used libation. You know, we kind of use it as a catch-all term. Uh, but the libation was the drink that was done at the end uh, and it would be poured out and it was for, for the Romans it would be for the gods and for Israel of course for Yahweh <coughs> <coughs> but again we see that's a beautiful image that he's just being poured out you know everything that he has is going to God and that's what we have to remember and, that, and that's what really humility is as well we, we give everything to God God is giving us the strength and we acknowledge that. And so, my friends, humility, humility, humility. That is the virtue that first and foremost we must perfect because it keeps our pride in check. God bless you. Please stand for the creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. 
I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. <coughs> God is a father to his people, consoling and guiding them. We entrust ourselves to his compassion and pray. That World Mission Day may renew within all Christian communities the joy of the gospel and the responsibility to announce it. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That civil leaders will use their authority to perfect, perfect and provide for the poor, the vulnerable, and the oppressed. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our parish communities will reach out to those on the peripheries with the charity and compassion of Jesus Christ. We pray for, to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase of vocations to the priesthood and consecrated life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor, the sick, the elderly, the grieving, the lonely, the hungry, the homeless, the addicted, and the unemployed, that the Lord will help them in his mercy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the grace this week to be able to deal patiently with others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for the men and women in our military and our first responders. May they come home safely and soon. And may those who have seen war or violence find peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, you have done great things for us. We are filled with joy. Keep us united with you in all things. We ask this as we ask all things through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offering we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <coughs> You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. 
for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Nelson, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant, off fragrant offering to God. At this time, we offer our act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. 
Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. And again, I apologize for my allergy. And you have a wonderful and blessed week, everyone.